Would you consider ever making an all-out comedy? Yes, I'm doing one now. You are? Okay, yeah. okay. So which one is that? Well, I wouldn't say it's an all-out -like comedy, but it's called Dying. It's not, actually, it's not a comedy. It's quite dark. It's really funny. <laughs> and it's with Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, it's like, ah, yes, this is... Uh, Dying My Love. So. Yeah. Welcome to the Variety Lounge at the Sarajevo Film Festival. I'm here with Lynn Ramsey, who is the recipient of the Heart of Sarajevo Award. And they're also showing You Were Never Really Here, her tremendous 2017 film. Because of You Were Never Really Here, and because I'm sure you're aware of the recent events that have happened in Sarajevo, it was suddenly occurring to me how tragically timely the screening of You Were Never Really Here is here. And I'm wondering, at the time when you were making it, did you have any inkling that it was going to retain such a degree of relevance, of tragic relevance. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, I think we went backwards for that kind of stuff, rather yeah. than forwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you, you consider that we're still, we're still going in that direction? Yes. The filmmaker-editor relationship is one that doesn't often get a lot of shine. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a little bit about your collaboration with your editors, in this case, Joe? Yeah. Um, well, I love Joe B. He's fantastic. He's actually, he's got, he's deaf in one ear. You know? Oh, really? So it's quite interesting to work with him because he works in a very, I don't know, like, he's a, this kind of organic style, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because he has, he's, the sound's different for him, yeah. Right. It was really intense, you know. Um, mm. It was the most intense edit I've ever done. Really? Uh, but I was looking really for post cuts. Like, I, was, I was never looking, I was always doing post violence, post. Uh, the way I cut it was, like, kind of to show the violence as an aftermath instead of in the middle of it. Quite an interruptive way of editing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I really I think it draws attention to itself as editing. Mm. It draws attention to what we are normally, you know, sort of accept as just not being there. Is there a sense that you kind of want to draw attention to to the fakery of filmmaking? It's I mean, like, it's a B-movie. It's like, you know, it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's like, it's gunshots and hammers. I mean, it's like, but. I was really wanting to do a bit of the man, the mm -hmm. man inside. Yeah. So to me, those sound cuts uh, were really interesting because it was like, I'm going to show you how the filmmaking works. The light of that as well, I want to show you the character, how it's internal. He works as well, how he works internally. That's right. He's kind of, because he's kind of a shattered person. Yes. And so this sort of shattered presentation. It's shattered edit and it's shattered sound and that's how we approached it. But actually then it was occurring to me that across all of your films, it seems like you have a very like symbiotic relationship with your lead character, whether it's Tilda Swinton yeah. in We Need to Talk About Kevin yeah. or Samantha Morton in More Than Color. Mm -hmm. And yet, to date, you haven't actually worked with the same actor Twice. No, I love actors. I absolutely love actors. And I think mm. if you, like, I'm friends with all the actors I've worked with. Mm. Tilda Swinton's the godmother in my child. Yes, I see. Samantha Morton's a really close friend. We're just about to do a little project, a short thing for her, because she started singing songs. Right. So I'm going to shoot her video for her. Oh, wonderful. And then John C. Reilly, he's the godfather in my door. Uh, Joaquin mm -hmm. I speak to every day in their life, yeah. And his wife, Rudy Mara, as well, mm -hmm. she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I just like actors, I'm just any actors. Mm. But I think you have to have a, you know, like a, an honest and authentic relationship with them. For me, I'm, I'm quite an experimental filmmaker, so I always mm -hmm. like to sort of try something different mm -hmm. to see if I can, like, this was a genre film, I'd never done a genre film. Well, I can't, well, Kevin maybe is a little bit. But I also find so many moments of, if not quite comedy, then certainly of like mm. a humor, of dark humor. I'm mm. thinking again of you were never really here of them yeah. singing Charlene uh, <laughs> while bleeding out on the kitchen floor. Um, uh, my, that was my dad's favorite <laughs> song. My dad was quite macho, he was quite a funny guy. And, uh, but you used to always get teared up at that song. So, and it's a bit prostitute and I always thought it was funny, you know what I mean? So Glaswegians have got a really black sense of humour, so yeah. I think that comes into my movies, but I always find them like comedies, but everyone else thinks they're really dark. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're chuckling away while everybody else well, is Well, Glaswegians are just, they're just like completely dark, you know, mm -hmm. they've got the darkest sense of humour ever, mm -hmm. but it's kind of great, you know. But would you consider ever making an all-out comedy? Yes, I'm doing one now. You are? Okay, yeah. okay, so which one is that? Well, I wouldn't say it's an all like comedy, but it's called Dying. It's not, actually, it's not a comedy. It's quite dark. It's really funny. <laughs> and it's with Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, it's like, ah, yeah. yes, this is... Uh, Dying My Love. It's yeah, funny. yes. That's it's about mental health. It's not comedy, but it's really funny mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes it approach to a marriage. It's about a marriage. It's about a breakdown in a marriage in a way, but and two people who really love each other and also just 
just we, everyone's had mental health issues through COVID and all that stuff. So it deals with that, but it deals with it in, a, I think, a really funny way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's an adaptation as well, isn't it? Yeah, but it's very, um, it's very lightly an adaptation. It's quite different from okay. the original material. Yeah. Well, I mean, but I think that's kind of a, a recurring theme. Yeah. I mean, you you uh, you tend to work in adaptations. You tend to work with with books that you adapt, yeah. but you adapt them very far away from the source material. Yeah, it's almost like making an original. It's like you take some of the ideas. I mean, the brilliant idea of Kevin is mm -hmm. like a mother that might not love her son, mm -hmm. a son that might not love his mother. So that's a really interesting theme. Mm -hmm. And then I take that to somewhere I think is similar to what the material's trying to do, but it's cinematic. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm doing an original one with Joaquin next, and that, I, it's nice for me because I haven't done an original since Ratcatcher. And in time, I love Fool's original, Amy, because it's just so me. You know? mm -hmm. You've already mentioned uh, die my love, but I think, and I think Polaris is your is the is well. The, it's, it's, I might be called Dark Slides, which is because uh, it's about a photographer in the back of a camera, an old camera, a tiny camera, is called the Dark Slides. So I might call it Dark Slides, but we'll see. I see, and that's the Joaquin Phoenix yeah. and Rooney Mara yeah. project. That's original. Well, I really one. like Jennifer Lawrence. She's funny and she's she's really down to earth, and I, and I think this is a really interesting project for her. And it's mm -hmm. like I think we both feel really strongly about the material. So, and it's quite simple. It's not set in the Arctic, it's not in a boat, it's in just in a house, it's just in a village, so it's easy to make. Mm -hmm. um, so possibly that will be the first one. Yeah. Okay, and how did you get it, how did she get attached to the project or did she bring uh, She in? sent me the book actually. Ah, yeah. okay. It's Martin Scorsese owns the material. Uh -huh. um, but it, it was set, it's an Argentinian writer and it was set in France, but I've said it in America, it's quite different. Mm -hmm. um, but she just really responded to the, you know, the material, which is, it's hardcore in some ways because it's about postnatal depression and bipolar and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But it's funny as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I've made it funny. I think I've made it funny. I hope I've made it funny. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn Ramsey, for joining us here on the Variety yeah. Lounge. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Festival. Thank you.